Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Behind the Seams, and this time we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup for my Captain Marvel. Now with the new movie coming out, I know we're all gonna be our best dressed for the movie premiere, so I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup. It's also my usual pinup girl makeup. So let's go ahead and start. And I know it's a little jarring. I don't have any makeup on right now. This is what I actually look like. No eyebrows, nothing. Slight allergic reaction to something the other day. My first step is gonna be primer. And primer is what helps fills in all the cracks and crannies and makes any type of skin that has texture, say big pores or acne, a little bit more smoother. And it helps the makeup stick to your skin. Now, if you're like me and you have like super combo skin, this really helps out just to even out the oiliness and the dryness. So that once you're in your makeup for a couple of hours, not, nobody's any of the wiser. And we're gonna be using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And I'm a really big fan of this one. It's uh, a little bit more natural. It's less chemicals in it, no perfume, which I'm highly allergic to. So if I don't have an issue with this, you won't. Now, because I do have a lot of redness in my skin and I have acne even though I'm in my mid thirties, I use the NYX Full Coverage Green Concealer Pot. And a good tip to know is green will always cancel out red. So if you have a little bit of redness anywhere in your skin, especially those of us who wear glasses, I wear glasses 90% of the day. Uh, I have little red marks from my glass piece. Just rub that in. And you're gonna feel kind of like an alien for a little bit, but it helps out. Now for my foundation. I always tell people the foundation is gonna be what we're gonna spend the most on. Uh, do you have to spend $50 for a foundation? No, it really just depends on what your needs are, what you want it to do, and what your skin is feeling like. Um, I go between about three to four different foundations during the year, just depending on like, if I'm gonna be super sweaty, is it super cold out, is my skin dry, is it oily, am I broken out? And what I have learned is that the Maybelline 24 hour Superstay, it's about a price point of 10 to $8, depending on where you are. This has been my go-to for cosplay makeup during a convention because I'm applying so much makeup constantly all the time. And it's not a huge price point, so I don't feel bad about just powering through it. And they have a lot of different colors. I'm gonna be using 110 Porcelain. And it's not the lightest color they have checked. Uh, in the summer, I will go down to a um, about a 112 because my skin will get a bit darker. Everybody that survived Anime Expo this year got an unfortunate tan. And I use my handy dandy beauty blender. I just go ahead and beat the stuffing out of my mug. If you don't make the dumb faces while putting your makeup on, you're not doing it right. And then to fill in my neck where I have discoloration, I want everything to be one color, I'm gonna take a dual fiber brush. This is from, this is the number nine from BH Cosmetics. It's also, also called a stippling brush. And it basically creates a airbrush look. I like to use this to just kind of blend everything in. And on average, when you do a face for cosplay, you'll do about three to four pumps of your foundation. And depending on if I'm gonna be showing cleavage, I'll go all the way down to where the costume starts. I 
All right, the foundation is down. Now I'm gonna start doing my contour process now. And a good contour starts at the very beginning of your makeup. And I'm gonna be using the NYX HD Studio Concealer in 00, zero the lightest they go. I found some even lighter concealers, but this is not that costume. And when you do the under eye, you wanna make a pizza slice, not a honey ham pizza slice, not honey baked ham. Go down my nose. Up this way to hide the fact that I do not uh, pluck my eyebrows. And on my chin. My eyebrows survived the 90s. I'm not pissing them off now. I want to go ahead and take that same beauty blender. It's already nice and saturated with our foundation. Go ahead and start and just blending that in nicely. We're creating nice high points. And be very gentle with your under eye. It's the thinnest skin you have. And most discoloration for your under eye is actually bruising, not discoloration. So say you wake up one morning after a long study time or you've been out at KatsuCon late at night and your under eyes are super dark, it's because they've been bruised because you haven't been sleeping, you're dehydrated, you didn't eat enough vitamins. Tequila is not a vitamin. Despite what college me thought. There we go. And now what I like to do to set my under eye, I use a much lighter white based powder. And what I've been loving recently uh, in the winter, because my skin dries out really badly and because I'm a mature skin, I have wrinkles. I'm not gonna hide them completely. That's what Photoshop's for. Um, I use the Revolution uh, Baking Powder in Ghost. Now it is a white based powder. Uh, if you are a deeper complexion, I highly recommend their banana powder for this gonna get the one brush I use for this. Aha. Just a simple fluffy brush. Make sure it's clean. And I'm just gonna lightly dab it in. Just basically gonna seal in that under eye color we did. Keep everything nice and light. There we go. If you did put that all over your skin, saying you're doing a uh, Morticia Adams, a gothic look, you can put it all over your skin. Just understand that it is a reflective. Anything that's white-based is a little bit more reflective in say you're in a flash area or you're gonna be under high lights, it's gonna reflect back. So if you put it all over your skin, you're gonna look like a ghost. Now to set the rest of my makeup, I'm using a translucent baking powder I'm not saying baking powder like go to the kitchen. It's a uh, translucent setting powder. We use it for baking. And I've actually been preferring the Kat Von D one. Um, it's, a, it's a good mix between a white based and a banana powder. It's very good for that very, very pale uh, Caucasian skin. Let's get on a nice fluffy brush. I'm just gonna dab it in and then buff it. And this is gonna basically fill in all the cracks that your foundation might leave. Just kind of like even everything out. You can even do this with a powder foundation. I just enjoy this because it's a little bit more lighter on my skin and easier to get off my clothes because I get it everywhere. Um, in the summer, I will switch to the Bin Nye baking powder because it's an antiperspirant and keeps me from sweating. I'm looking at everybody else at Megacon.
And a lot of people bring up the idea of baking your makeup. Baking your makeup is when you leave your setting powder on and you cake it on and you leave it for about five to 10 minutes. That's not good on my skin because once again, I have mature skin. I'm in my thirties, I have cracks. I have to basically keep all the moisture I can. So I don't bake. I just add setting powder and hope. And facials. Okay, now that our powder's on, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the eyes. Now I have greasy eyelids. It's the only part of my face that's very greasy because my eyelids are the only greasy part of my face. I have to use an eye primer. And as always, I use Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer in original. And this, they have in different colors depending on what your natural skin tone is. They go all the way from deep skin tone to albino. And use your ring finger. Kind of lightly blend that in. Bring it down into the inner corner. All the way from lash to brow. Now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and kind of marinate on my eye. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, because Captain Marvel's more of a natural blonde, despite what anybody says, I'm gonna keep the eyebrows really natural. Now I'm gonna take a wax stick. This is the NYX Eyebrow Shaper. I'm just gonna go ahead and it's going to help me keep my eyebrow hairs in place while I put eyebrows on. And for those of you with more unruly eyebrows, I recommend taking a little bit of hair gel nothing that you're allergic to and putting it on an old mascara wand. And if you rub, put that through your eyebrows, it'll help keep those hairs down. So if you don't want to trim them, that helps out. Now I'm going to take a small angled brush. This little beauty. It's a Mac 266. And then I use the Naked 2 palette, the Urban, the Urban Decay Basics. Uh, this is like my go-to palette. You can see I've used it quite a bit. This is my perfect eyebrow palette. I can use it for basically any character for their eyebrows. Now, I'm gonna go in with the very medium color, Frisk. I'm gonna go ahead and start just carving out some eyebrows. And because with this look, I'm going to be wearing a wig, you do wanna make your eyebrows come out a little bit farther to compensate for all the hair your wig's gonna have. You need to also match your eyebrows to the size of your wig. Also remember when you're doing your eyebrows, they're meant to be sisters, not twins. So if they're a little bit different on each side, that's fine. Just move on. And I'm gonna make the tails a little bit darker so it looks a little bit more natural. And so when my head is turned, you can see my eyebrow a little bit more. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a flat brush, somewhere in here. It's a simple flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and carve a little bit around my eyebrows with a natural colored powder.
Okay. Now, we've all done it. We've all had really nice eyebrows on. Go to take a photo, go to look something up, and you pull your camera down and your eyebrows on the front of your camera. No bueno. So to keep my eyebrows from going anywhere, now that they're set, I'm gonna use the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is basically a clear gel. It's gonna help all that powder and all that product we put on the eyebrows stay for 24 hours. All right, those are gonna set and dry. Now we're gonna do the eyeshadows. Okay, so for Captain Marvel, I still use that same Naked 2. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making a crease in my eyes. Find a brush. If you ask what this is, this is a, basically it's a stippling sponge in a little container. This is what I do to keep my makeup brushes clean between application. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on a something called a transition color. You don't wanna start off with your darker color first because it gets a little bit muddy and it's hard to blend. So I'm gonna take that same Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm gonna use Cover. It's a nice warm taupey brown. I'm gonna go ahead and start carving up my eyes. When you do this, you wanna come all the way in to where your eye meets your nose. It creates a nicer, more flattering shape. Kind okay, of wing it out and come down. And just buff that bad boy in as much as you can. I know a lot of people get kind of scared when they start doing lots of color on their eyes. They go up all the way to the brow bone. They're like, no, this looks so unnatural. Well, when you're outside, whether in studio lighting like this, outside lighting, you're taking photos, you kind of need that. You need to go about three steps farther than what you think. Think less, I'm gonna go on a date to a candlelit area and you're gonna go, rather than you're gonna be on stage and somebody in the back row has to see you. It's kind of what cosplay makeup is. It's just a little bit more pretty stage makeup. Now that I have that, I'm gonna go in with this second darker color and go into the crease and kind of blend it up with the same brush. Now we're gonna go ahead and start doing some blending. Let me remove all of the red from Katsukon. Okay, now we're gonna be using the same uh, brand, the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade they have. It's called High. I'm gonna go ahead right up onto the brow bone. I'm just gonna blend that in. Now the key to good seamless eye makeup is just blending the stuffing out of your eyes. For blending brushes, I'm using the Morphe M518. This is my current like favorite blender. Okay, that's it for contouring my eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lid. Now with Captain Marvel, I sometimes go a little bit goldy, a little bit more lighter. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to use, I just got a hold of this. It's the Avengers Infinity War eyeshadows from Besame Cosmetics. 
They are the people that made all of the cosmetics for um, Agent Carter. So if you get those cosmetics, then you have screen accurate cosmetics for Agent Carter. But I am in love with this super bright gold. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that on my crease. And I'm using a MAC 288 packing brush. You're gonna see what I mean when I say packing. I'm gonna pack that color in. Super bright and I love it. Match that Captain Marvel gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start shading my wing. When I say by shading my wing, I'm gonna take a small taper brush. This is a lot like the brush we used for the eyebrows. And I'm gonna go in, once again with that Urban Decay Naked, Naked's Basic 2. I'm gonna use that darker color, Undone. I'm gonna create a base wing. Don't be perfect, I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna take that same blender brush, the Morphe M51. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in. Right into the crease. And so I'm gonna have a nice transition between our lid color and where I'm going to add that wing. All right, now. Everyone's least favorite part, eyeliner. Now I've used quite a different, quite a couple different eyeliners throughout the years, but I've really been loving the LA Splash. This came in the Allure Beauty Box we all got uh, a couple months ago, actually. I think it was December. And this has been my favorite. Um, this survived two days of continuous Katsucon wear and like maybe one and a half mental breakdowns. Not coming off. But nice super tight felt tip. And we're just gonna go ahead and start doing the lid. You wanna rest your pinky on your cheek while you do this. Before you're like, oh God, girl, that wing. Trust me, once you add lashes and a wig, you're gonna need that huge wing. Wait for that to dry. And once again, your wings are sisters, not twins. Makeup is a waiting game, just what it is. Literally waiting for paint to dry. Okay, I'm gonna set my eyeliner. Once again, using that same super tiny brush. And you can use any matte black you want. I'm using this matte black from the Divine Palette by Kat Von D. I'm just gonna go ahead and set put that black powder right on top of my wing. My eyes are super, super watery. So sometimes it causes my eyeliner to run, especially if I'm wearing contacts. 
and this will help keep that from running away. All right, the eyes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on before I put lashes on, just cause I have very sparse eyelashes, naturally blonde, wasn't gonna hide it. Um, and if I don't, there's nothing for my fake lashes to grab onto. And when you put mascara on, stick it in and zigzag out. And I'm using the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Now, mascara is where you can save a little bit of money if you know you're gonna be wearing lashes anytime you use it. Um, my favorite one is actually from Rimmel. I'm out of it right now, thanks to Katsukon. Uh, so I've been using the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Other really good brands are the Dior Showstopper. It's a higher price point, but it's actually really nice. And then NYX Cosmetics has a uh, stay up all night, which is really good waterproof. So if you know you're gonna be sweating or it might rain, go for the waterproof. Now, we're gonna let that dry and I'll start doing my contour. I'm gonna take that same super fluffy brush and just go over my skin to get rid of any fallout. Okay, time to carve some cheeks. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Pro HD palette. Now you can really use anything you want for your carving your cheeks or doing your darker contour. Uh, many of us just get one compact that's five shades darker and then a compact that's three shades lighter and that's what we use for contour. I have this mostly so I can variate my contour as well as work on other people's skin. All right. So to start this off, I'm gonna go with a tapered brush. This is from the Morphe Rose Gold Collection. And I'm gonna use this lighter color right here. Um, now when I do my wizard or dark evil characters, I will go for the darkest contour of this palette. But since Captain Marvel's, you know, a good guy, I'm hoping, uh, we're gonna use the lighter contour. Not to do like too much. One would be nice and rosy cheeked. And I'm gonna go ahead and there's this invisible line from the top of your ear where you're... Ladies, we all know we have sideburns. Let's not hide it. From the, your sideburns to your mouth, it's like an invisible line. And you do fishy face. And we're gonna basically just lightly go and fill in that area. Now here's where you're gonna have arms a day with all this blending. Bring it up to your temple as well. It's kind of thins out the face. Now using that exact same lighter brown color, I'm gonna take a fluffy tapered brush. I'm just gonna go down my nose. That's why we brought that crease color all the way to the nose bone. So it just kind of blends in with it. Makes it look much more natural. Just gonna blend that in. It's also helpful and hides my glasses marks. I'm gonna go underneath my nose and underneath my bottom lip. I'm 
Now with this, I don't have to do a lot of lighter contour because we did that with the concealer. So I'm gonna leave the lighter contour powders for another day. Instead, I'm gonna add blush and my highlighter. Now this is the blush I've been preferring lately. And you can save money on blush. It's the same thing, no matter really where you go. It's just a baked powder with pigment. Uh, the NYX blushes, I really like their uh, they're like HD blushes. Really good. Um, I recently got a hold of this to use on a client. It's the MAC Mineralized Brush in Dainty. Nice and pink. I usually don't use blushes on any of my more nefarious characters like Saber Alter, Wizard, Carmilla. I don't use blush. It makes them look a little bit too rosy cheeked and alive. But for my hero characters like Captain Marvel, Supergirl, Esp uh, Espeon, I do use blush. Now, get a nice, simple, where is it? Somewhere. Aha. A tapered brush. When you smile, you're gonna go right where your contour meets your cheekbone. Just go all the way up. You just wanna blend it in. Now, I've been preferring the mineralized uh, blushes and uh, highlights for a while now just because they look really good on camera. They don't have a whole lot of fallout. There's no large specks of pigment, just nice, even toned. Um, if I know I'm going to be doing a photo shoot, I will use a matte blush like the NYX HD blushes. Okay, now for all of our favorite highlighter. Um, if you're gonna do a photo shoot indoors in a studio, I say skip highlighter, just use a matte white powder to highlight the higher points of your face. If you're gonna be outside having fun, you wanna go to the convention, you wanna get like cool outdoorsy photos, make it shine like the gods are watching. It's just more fun. And I'm gonna be using this one, it's kind of, as you can tell, it's seen some better days. It's the Revolution Makeup Vivid Baked Powder and Golden Lights. I was obsessed with trying to find a gold-based highlighter for a while, but because I'm so fair-skinned, it just looked like dirty and dusty on me, and this is the first time I found one that's a gold base that I really liked. So I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go around the orbital bone right here. Chin, nose, and above my eyebrows. And one thing I almost forgot to do, because <laughs> uh, I love curves and I hate cardio. Um, I know. I'm gonna take that medium brown from the contour palette and carve out my jaw. Gonna buff it in. This is where I hide all of my secrets. Okay, now we're gonna do lipstick. Normally I say put your wig on and your costume and then put your lipstick on, but because I'm using an ultra matte lipstick, I can do it before my wig and costume. And I am a sucker for matte lipsticks that stay all day. A lot of us have been using the Kat Von D, uh, the NARS, uh, Stila, uh, but for a better price point, and I believe it's a little bit better color range for those of us who have not your average skin tones, uh, the NYX Liquid Suede. Their price point of about seven to eight dollars. Uh, they sometimes have them in metallics as well. I highly recommend these because you're gonna spend a lot of money on one lipstick for one character. That's not very convenient or good for your wallet. Uh, the NYX Liquid uh, Suede's, this color is Cherry Skies. This is my go-to automatic grab for any pinup, my base lipstick for Snow White, 
It's my base lipstick for Angela Witch Hunter. I use it constantly. It's super easy, it has a nice little doe foot applicator. Now it goes on pretty smooth, but you're gonna have to do a couple of layers just to get that huge, like nice saturation effect. That's about lipstick. I always get it on my front teeth, no matter what, because I like to fill in what is called the mouth butthole, which is that inner water line. So no matter what I do, no matter what lipstick I use, I have to like check before going to the show floor. It's not on my teeth. Okay, that's the lipstick I use. If I wanted to get it a little bit more darker, I would top it off with what I've been preferring lately is the Kylie uh, liquid lipstick in Vixen. But I really like this with the gold on the eyes. Now all it's have to do is put on my eyelashes and my wig. I'll be right back. Okay guys, now that I've put my lashes and my wig on, I'm ready to go. Now don't forget, we're all excited for that movie coming soon. Um, I wanna see what you guys do. Like, show me either your Captain Marvel makeups, what you're gonna be wearing to the premiere, whether you're dude, girl, everything in between, and I cannot wait to see what you guys do. Also, please, please let me know any other makeup tutorials you'd like us to cover from Snow White, to KDA, some League of Legends fun. Let us know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And if you wanna know when we do more videos like this, go ahead and click the bell so you automatically know when we're doing things. Thank you guys, have a great day.